I just think it's all going to change so quickly too. Um, yeah, the first one I was able to make is um, it nice there? It looks nice. So let's start off on hands and knees in the tabletop position. The music hopefully it works. Inhaling as you look up. And exhaling as you look down. And the playlist that's just seen on the playlist is long, hot days of summer. Oh. So, okay. Hold on. Let me get it. And inhale, looking up. And exhale, looking down. And coming to a neutral flat back, taking the left arm forward and the right leg back. Inhaling here, exhaling elbow to knee. Inhaling again, exhaling elbow to knee. And inhaling again, exhaling elbow to knee. And slowly releasing down to the mat. And then taking the right arm forward and the left leg back. Inhaling here, exhale elbow to knee. Inhaling again, and exhaling elbow to knee. Inhaling again, back out, and exhaling elbow to knee. And again, releasing the palms back down to the mat. And tucking those back toes under, just coming into a downward facing dog, really pedaling those legs out, releasing the calf muscles. And on inhale, bring the right leg up, bending the knee, opening the hip, and making some hip circles in one direction. And reversing the direction. And straightening the right leg out, inhaling here. Exhale, bringing your knee to your nose. Inhaling back out. And exhale, bringing the right foot between your hands. Left knee comes down to the mat. Uncurling the back toes as you inhale, coming up, stretching into that left hip flexor, gazing at the sky or ceiling. Inhaling here. Exhale, palms come down to the mat, shifting back as you straighten that right leg, feeling a nice hamstring stretch here. Inhaling here. And exhaling, bending the right knee, tucking the left toes under, coming back to a downward facing dog. On an inhale, bringing your heels up. Exhale, bringing them over to the right side, so getting a nice side stretch. Inhale, the heels come back up. Exhale, bringing them over to the left. And inhale, the heels come back up. Exhale, heels back to the mat. And taking it to the left side as we bring the left leg up on an inhale, bending the knee and opening the hip, and making some hip circles. Then kicking that left leg straight out behind you, inhaling here, exhale, left knee to nose, engaging the core, inhale back up, and exhale, left foot between your hands. The right knee comes down as you inhale, coming up. Leaning into that right hip flexor. Inhaling here. And exhale, the palms come down, straightening the left leg, sinking into that right hip. Bending the left knee, tucking the right toes under, coming back to a downward facing dog. The plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, down to the mat. Inhale, the baby cobra. Exhaling back to a downward facing dog. And taking that one more time, inhale forward into a plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, the baby cobra. And exhaling back to a downward facing dog. 
On an inhale, bending the knees, gazing forward. Exhale, either walking or hopping, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale as the arms come all the way up overhead. And exhale, bringing hands to heart center. Inhale, the arms come up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walking back to a plank pose. Inhale and plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog or baby cobra. And exhaling back to a downward facing dog. On an inhale, bend in the knees, gazing forward, hopping or walking, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhales the arms all the way up. Exhale, folding right back down, warming up our bodies. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, either walking back to plank or jumping back into a chaturanga. Inhale, the upward dog. And exhaling back to a downward facing dog. Taking an inhale through the nose and sighing it out through the mouth. On an inhale, bend in the knees, gazing forward, hopping or walking, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale as the arms come all the way up overhead. And exhale, folding right back forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, meeting in chaturanga. Inhale, the upward dog. Exhaling back to a downward facing dog. On an inhale, the right leg comes up. Exhale, right knee to right up. Inhale, back up. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, back up. Exhale, right knee to nose. And inhale, back up. Exhale, the right foot between your hands. Back heel comes down, coming into a warrior one. Inhaling here and exhaling, clasping the hands at the base of the spine. On an inhale, taking a back bend. Exhale, folding to the inside of the right knee into humble warrior. Really feeling that stretch in the front of your shoulders. And then slowly coming back up, releasing the arms up overhead and opening to a warrior two. On an inhale, reversing the warrior. Exhale, coming into extend. Right angle, stance in the warrior here. Inhale, reversing the warrior. Exhale, extend the side angle. And inhale, reversing the warrior. Exhale, cartwheeling hands around the right leg. Right leg comes back to a three-legged down dog. Inhale, forward to a three-legged plank. Exhale, three-legged chaturanga, and both legs come down and upward dog, and exhaling back to a downward facing dog. On an inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, back up. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, back up. Exhale, left knee to nose. And inhale, back up. Exhale, left foot between your hands, back heel comes down, slowly coming into your warrior one. Inhaling here, exhale, interlacing your hands, opposite pointer finger on top, and taking a back bend here. And then folding to the inside of the left knee. Inhaling here, and exhaling. And slowly coming back up, releasing the arms up overhead. Exhale, opening to a warrior two. Inhales, reverse the warrior. Exhale, coming into extended side angle. Inhale, reversing the warrior. And exhale, extended side angle. And inhale, reversing warrior, hi John. And exhale, cartwheeling hands around the left leg. Left leg comes back to a three-legged down dog. Inhale forward to a three-legged plank. 
exhale chaturanga inhale to upward dog exhaling back to the downward facing dog on an inhale coming forward into a plank pose exhale chaturanga inhale back to a plank and exhale back to a downward facing dog we'll take that one more time inhaling forward into a plank exhale chaturanga inhale back to a plank and exhale back to a downward facing dog on an inhale bend in the knees gazing forward exhale walking or hopping feet to hands inhale halfway lift and exhale forward fold inhales the arms all the way up overhead exhale bringing hands to heart center inhale the arms come up and exhale sitting in your chair pose utkatasana inhaling here exhale fold forward. inhale halfway lift exhale meeting back in chaturanga inhale to upper dog or baby cobra and exhaling back to the downward facing dog on an inhale the right leg comes up exhale right knee to right elbow inhale back up exhale right knee to right elbow maybe coming into the arm balance akapada kundanyasana if you're in the arm balance maybe lowering that chin coming into a chin balance and meet it back, Chaturanga. Inhale to up dog and exhaling back to the downward facing dog. On an inhale, the right leg comes back up and exhale, right foot between the hands. The left heel stays lifted as you rise into your high lunge. Inhaling here and exhale, bring your hands to heart center, twisting over to the right, gazing over that right shoulder. Inhaling here and exhaling. Bringing your left knee in to meet your right, coming into a twisted chair. Inhaling here. On an exhale, if you want to bring your palms down, coming into a side crow, you have that option. And if you're in side crow, just holding here for two breaths. We're coming out of it, just playing around. And bringing your legs back together, meeting back in your twisted chair, taking your left leg back behind you, coming back to your twisted lunge. And then you're gonna inhale, coming up, and exhale, opening to warrior two. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, straighten that right leg, tilting forward coming into Trikonasana, engaging over that left fingertip. Inhaling here, and exhaling. Inhaling again. Exhale, the left arm comes down, squaring off your hips. Left leg in a little bit as you fold forward into your pyramid pose. Inhaling here, and exhaling. And bring your right hand to your right hip on an inhale. Exhale as you twist and open towards the right. Feeling a nice stretch in your IT band. Inhaling here. And exhaling. And gazing down, you're going to bend your right knee a little bit. Left arm comes out in front. So you slowly take off and coming into your reverse half moon pose. Gazing over the right fingertips. Inhaling here. On an exhale, the right palm comes down, coming into your standing split. Inhaling here. And exhale as you bring your hands to your heart center, coming into a warrior three. And then slowly coming back to your high lunge. Inhaling here. Exhale, hands around the right leg. The right leg comes back to a three-legged down dog. And again, you have an option here to keep the leg lifted as you come into your plank pose, maybe coming into your chin balance or bringing the leg down and just taking a regular vinyasa. 
and meeting in downward facing dog. And then trying to remember that on this side. Let's bring the left leg up. Inhaling here. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, back up. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Maybe taking the arm balance. Maybe tucking that chin down. Legs come up. Kind of moving in chaturanga. Coming into an upward dog. And exhaling back to a downward facing dog. On an inhale, the left leg comes up. And exhale, left foot between the hands, slowly coming into your high lunge. Inhaling here. Exhale, hands to the heart center as you twist over to the left and gazing over that left shoulder. Inhaling here. And exhaling. And then bringing your right foot up to meet your left, so you're in your twisted chair. Inhaling here. And exhaling. Either staying here or planting your palms. Creating a shelf with your right thighs up. And tilting forward into your side crow. So your left tricep should be free. Your balance completely on your right arm. And then coming back to your twisted chair. Inhaling here. Exhale, that right leg comes back. Inhales, the arms come up overhead. Exhale, opening to your warrior two. On an inhale, reversing the warrior. Exhale, straighten that left leg, tilting forward into your triangle pose. And gazing at the right Inhaling here and exhaling. Inhaling again. Exhale, squaring off the hips. The right arm comes down. Right foot in a little bit as you fold over into your pyramid pose. And taking a couple of breaths here, enjoying the stretch. And then bringing your left hand to your left hip, twisting and opening on an exhale. And then gazing forward, the right arm's gonna come out in front, taking off, balancing on the left leg as you come into your twisted Inhaling here and exhaling. Bringing your left arm down, coming into your standing split. On an inhale, hands come to heart center. And exhaling back to your high lunge. Inhaling here. Exhale, hands around the left leg. Again, you have options here. Coming right back to a downward facing dog. Coming to a three-legged down dog. Inhale forward wherever you are into a plank or staying in down dog. Exhale, if you want the chin balance, coming into the chin balance. I'm eating in chaturanga, upward dog, and exhaling back to a downward facing dog. Taking three long breaths here, inhaling through the nose, and sighing out through the mouth. In again, and sighing it out. On the next inhale, bend your knees, gazing forward. Exhale, walking or hopping, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the arms come up overhead. Exhale, hands come to heart center. On an inhale, sitting back in your chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, planting the palms, widening the knees as you come into your crow pose. So we're gonna hold crow for a couple of breaths. Inhaling for one and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling for two. And inhaling and exhaling for three. And the next breath, shooting your legs back if that's in your practice. Good chatter on. 
inhale to upward dog and exhaling back to the downward facing dog on an inhale the right leg comes up exhale the right foot between your hands coming into your high lunge inhaling here exhale hands come to heart center tilting forward and coming into your warrior three inhaling here exhale hands come down to the mat into your standing split on an inhale left hand to the left hip twisting and opening up towards the left coming into ardish and drasana inhaling here exhale bend in that right knee coming back to a warrior two on an inhale reversing the warrior and exhale, coming into extended side angle. This time, if you want the bind, the right arm comes underneath, grabbing hold of the left fingertip or the left wrist, and gazing over that left shoulder. Inhaling here, and exhaling. Gazing down at that right foot, taking your left foot to meet your right, and bringing all the weight into the left leg as you inhale slowly coming up and coming into your bird of paradise maybe straightening that leg hopping around <laughs> and inhaling here and exhaling and the right leg comes back down to the mat and the left leg comes back into your extended side angle. If you have the bind, just opening your arms back up. Inhaling here. Exhale, your left hand's gonna come down. It's gonna come to the out, to the edge of the mat. Left heel comes up. And then coming down to your forearms, coming into a lizard pose. You can keep that left knee lifted or bring the left knee down. The left knee's down, untucking the back toes. And inhale here. And exhale. With that back heel down, lifting the back heel up. And bringing your right foot back to meet the left as you come into a forearm plank. Inhaling here. And exhaling. And bringing your right palm into the mat. And your left coming back into a plank pose. Inhaling in plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog. And exhaling back to a downward facing dog. Inhaling through the nose. And out through the mouth. On an inhale, the left leg comes up. And exhale, left foot between the hands. Rising up into your high lunge. Inhaling here, exhale, hands to the heart center, tilting forward, coming into that warrior three. And taking an inhale here. On an exhale, releasing the palms down to the mat, coming into a standing split. On an inhale, the right hand comes to the right hip as you twist and open up towards the right. Feeling a nice opening in the chest here and the legs. And slowly bend the left knee, coming back into a warrior two. On an inhale, reversing the warrior. Exhale, the left arm comes down, coming to your extended side angle, coming into the bind. And gazing over that right shoulder. Taking one breath here, inhaling through the nose and out through the mouth. And then looking down at your foot, bringing the right foot in to meet the left, balancing all the weight on the right leg as you slowly lift up and maybe extending the left leg out to the side. Remembering to breathe. Slowly bringing the left leg back down. The right leg comes back opening up from the bind, inhaling here, exhale, the right palm comes down, left foot to the edge of the mat, 
and right heel comes up, staying on the palms or coming to your forearms. Right knee can stay lifted or bringing it down to the mat, uncurling those right toes. Inhale in here, and exhale. And then if that right knee is down on the mat, raising the right knee up, bringing the left foot back around to meet the right into forearm plank. Inhale in here. On an exhale, walking your feet in, coming into a dolphin. Then you can either stay here. You can play around with bringing the right leg up and then the left. Or you can play around with the forearm balance. So taking these next several moments to just play around in this pose. Wherever you are breathing. We've kicked up a couple of times on one side, kicking up on the other side. And taking a couple more breaths wherever you are. And we'll all meet in child pose when you're done. And inhaling here. And exhale. On an inhale, walking your hands over to the right, feeling the side stretch in the left side of your body. Exhaling here. On inhale, walking them over to the left. Exhaling here. And then walking them back to center. Coming into a tabletop position. Inhaling as we look up at the sky or ceiling. Exhale, tucking those back toes under, coming back to a downward facing dog. And inhale forward into a plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog or baby cobra. Exhaling back to a downward facing dog. On an inhale, bend the knees, gazing forward. Exhale, walking or hopping, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, folding forward. Inhale as the arms come all the way up to the head. And exhale, bringing hands to heart center. Closing the eyes, taking a couple of breaths, feeling your heartbeat, noticing any distractions in the background, drowning them out. And inhale, the eyes open as the arms come up. And exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, meeting back in chaturanga. Inhale, the upper dog. And exhaling back to a downward facing dog. On an inhale, the right leg comes up. And exhale, bringing your right knee to your right elbow. Bringing it over to the left elbow. Down to the left wrist. And over to the right wrist. And back to a three-legged down dog. Inhaling here. Exhale, right knee to the right elbow. Over to the left down to the left wrist and over to the right wrist and back to a three-legged down dog. Inhaling here, exhale the right foot between the hands as you rise up into your high lunge. Inhaling here and exhale again, hands come to heart center, coming into your warrior three. Inhaling here, exhale slowly coming up, hugging the left knee into the chest. And then taking your left piece fingers around your left big toe, you slowly straighten your leg out in front, inhaling here. Exhale, left leg comes out to the side, opening up, maybe gazing over those right fingertips. Inhaling here. Exhale, bending the left knee. You're gonna bring your whole foot into the right hip crease here, 
as you inhale, bring your hands to heart center. Exhale, bending the knee, sitting into a kind of chair-like pose. Bringing your palms down to the mat. You're really feeling the stretch in your left hip. Either staying here, feeling the stretch, or maybe creating a shelf with your triceps and your right foot comes onto your almost right shoulder and slowly lifting up into the arm balance. Otherwise, just staying in the stretch. If you're in the arm balance, holding for a couple more breaths. And then slowly releasing, again, foot down to the floor, coming out of it, how we came into it, hands to heart center, slowly coming up, left piece fingers around the left big toe, left foot comes out to the side, inhaling here, exhale, bringing the foot back to the front, hugging the left knee into the chest, hands come to heart center, coming back to your warrior three, inhaling here, exhale, coming back to your high lunge, and inhaling here, exhale, opening for warrior two. On an inhale, reversing the warrior. Exhale, coming into extended side angle. Straightening the right leg, coming into trikonasana. Gazing at the left fingertips. Bring your left palm down again, squaring off your hips for pyramid pose. Inhaling here. And exhaling. And then bending your right knee, coming back into a plank pose. Inhale, plank. exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog. And exhaling back to the downward facing dog. On an inhale, coming forward into a plank. Exhale, bringing your forearms down to the mat, coming into a forearm plank. And we're gonna parallel our right forearm to the top of the mat coming over onto our right side and coming into a forearm side plank, gazing at the left fingertips, inhaling here and exhaling, holding for one more breath and bringing the left forearm back to the mat, paralleling the forearms, holding here and then paralleling the left arm to the top of the mat, coming over onto the left side as the right arm comes up, gazing at the right fingertips, inhaling here, and exhaling, holding for one more breath, and then bringing the right forearm back down to the mat, planting the left palm into the mat, and the right palm, and coming back to a downward facing dog, Inhaling here and exhaling. On an inhale, the left leg comes up. Exhale, left knee to the left elbow, bringing it over to the right, down to the right wrist, over to the left, back to the three-legged down dog. Inhaling here, exhale, left knee to left elbow, over to the right, down to the right wrist, over to the left, back to the three-legged down dog. And inhaling here. Exhale the left foot between the hands, slowly rising up into your high lunge. Gazing at the sky. Inhaling here. On exhale again, hands come to heart center, tilting forward, coming into your warrior three. Inhaling here. Exhale, hugging the right knee into the chest taking the right piece fingers around the right big toe as you extend your leg out. Inhaling here. Exhale, maybe opening it out towards the right. Gazing the left fingertips. Inhaling here. Exhale, bend in the right knee. The sole of the foot comes to the hip crease. Again, hands come to heart center. Inhaling here. Exhale, slowly sinking back into that kind of alternative chair. 
And maybe your palms come down, coming further into the stretch, either staying here in the stretch or maybe coming into the arm balance, so bending the elbows, hooking the right foot around the left tricep, shifting forward into your arm balance. Inhaling here and exhaling. And wherever you are, slowly coming back out of the how you came into it. Hands to heart center. You slowly come up. Right piece fingers around the right big toe. Sending the leg out to the side. Inhaling here. Exhale, bringing them back to center. Then hugging the left right knee into the chest. Hands to heart center. Coming back to your warrior three. Inhaling here, exhale, coming back to your high lunge. And inhaling here, exhale as you open to your warrior two. On an inhale, reversing the warrior. Exhale, coming into that nice triangle pose, you straighten the left leg and gazing at the right fingertips. Oh, we forgot another extended side angle, bending the left knee. Coming first into extended side angle, gazing underneath that right armpit, then slowly straightening that left leg, coming back into your triangle. Squaring off your hips as the right palm comes down, taking your pyramid pose, right foot in a little bit, and folding over that left leg. And bend the left knee, coming back into a planking pose. Inhaling here. Exhale, coming all the way down to your belly on the count of five. Four, three, two, and one. And creating a nice pillow with your hands as you interlace your hands. Bring one teeth to one side. Wiggling your hips from side to side. And the other cheek to the other side. And then coming to the neutral position, interlacing your hands at the base of your spine as we come into locust pose, inhaling, legs come up and chest and arms, and exhaling into this pose, holding for three breaths, gazing a little about straight in front of you. And last breath. And slowly coming back down again, creating the pillow with your cheeks or bringing your hand by your side. You can bend your knees, windshield wiping them from side to side, or just wiggle your hips from side to side. If your knees are bent, keeping your knees bent as you grab both ankles with your hands, preparing for bow pose. Inhale as you slowly come up and exhaling here. And we're going to take a shoulder stretch. So we're going to inhale as we roll over to our right side. And exhaling here. And inhaling back up, coming into a neutral and exhaling here. And on inhale, rolling to our left side. And exhaling here. And then on the inhale, coming back up to neutral. Exhale, slowly releasing back down to the mat. And pushing back into a wide leg -like child's pose, countering the back bend here. And holding child's pose. And then slowly coming back into a tabletop position. Inhale as you gaze up. Exhale, tucking the back toes under and coming back into a downward facing dog. On an inhale, the right leg comes up. Exhale, the right foot between your hand. And we're coming to a parallel position. Inhaling here. 
Exhale, folding forward. Trying to bring your head down to the mat. And before you rise up, you're coming into one more breath. And slowly, if tripod's in your practice, slowly coming up into the tripod. And if you're in tripod, just coming into our core work. As you inhale, bringing your legs down to 90 degrees. Exhale, straddling them open. Inhale, back up. Exhale, closing the legs. Inhale, 90. Exhale, open. Inhale, back up. And exhale, closing the legs. And staying here for one or two more breaths. And straddling your legs, engaging the core as you slowly come down. Inhaling here and exhaling. On an inhale, hands are going to come to heart center. Exhale, bending the, the right knee as the left toes come up. Inhale, back up. Exhale, bending the left knee as the right toes come up. And inhale, back up. Exhale, bending the right knee as the left toes come up. Inhale, back up. Exhale, bending the left knee as the right toes come up. And then inhaling, coming back up. Releasing your palms, coming to bend the right knee to the front of the mat, coming into your warrior two, facing the front of the mat. Inhales, reverse the warrior. On an exhale, left hand comes to left hip, right arm out in front, coming into your Ardha Chandrasana briefly. Left arm comes up. Inhaling here. Exhale, the left palm down to the mat. On an inhale, slowly hugging the left knee into the chest and coming into our eagle. So the left leg is gonna wrap over the right and the left leg is come underneath the right arm. Elbows come away from the chest. Inhaling here and exhale, slowly folding forward and bringing that left leg back into a variation of warrior three. Inhaling here, exhale, coming back to a high lunge with eagle arms. And then release the arms up overhead. Inhaling here, exhale, planting the palms around the right leg. The right leg's gonna come back to a plank pose. And inhaling in plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog. And exhaling back to the downward facing dog. On an inhale, the left leg comes up. And exhale, left foot between your hands, paralleling your legs. And this time we're going to bring our right arm directly underneath our chest as we inhale, opening up to the left. And exhaling here. And then bringing the left palm down on inhale. Exhale as you open the right arm up. And taking another breath here. And then bringing the right palm back down. Hands come to the waist on an inhale. Exhale as you slowly come up. Heels come in, toes come out. Inhale, coming into a star pose. And exhale, sitting into your goddess pose. Inhale as you hug your shoulder blades together. Opening the chest, exhale, rounding the spine, elbows out in front. Inhale as you open, and exhale as you round. And then just coming back to neutral, maybe trying to bring your heels up for balance. Inhaling here, and exhaling. Heels come down, legs straighten and arms coming into a star. And exhale, bending the left knee, coming into a warrior two, facing the front of the mat. Inhales, reverse the warrior. And exhale, coming into a half moon, right hand to the right hip. And left hand comes out in front. And the right arm comes up. Inhaling here. And exhale, the right palm comes down, coming into your standing split, briefly. 
And the next inhale, hugging the right knee into the chest and taking it into your eagle, the right leg over the left, right arm underneath the right, elbows away from the chest, inhaling here, exhale, folding over. And then that right leg comes back behind you, inhaling here, exhale, right leg comes down, coming into a high lunge with eagle arms. The arms come up overhead on the inhale and exhale, planting the palms, coming back into a plank pose. And inhaling here, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, the upward dog. And exhale, back to a downward facing dog. Inhaling through the nose and sighing it out through the mouth. On an inhale, bending your knees, gazing forward, just hopping into a squat pose at the front of your mat. Hands come to heart center. And on inhale, the right arm comes down and exhale, the left arm comes up. And again, bringing hands back to heart center, bringing the left palm down and the right arm up. And then bringing hands back to heart center and one more on each side. The right arm comes down, the left arm up. And hands back to heart center, left arm down as the right arm comes up. And then hands back to heart center. I'm gonna try to take firefly pose. So the palms are gonna go behind your heels. You're gonna bend your elbows, sink your, your tushy back. Maybe one leg rises, maybe the other. If you fall down, just coming, if it's trying, if you want, you can try to take this into your crow. An inspiration. <laughs> and then some other postures. Coming back to your squat pose. And then sitting all the way back onto your tushies, coming into your boat pose. Inhaling here. Exhale, coming into half boat. Inhale, back to boat. Exhale to half boat. Inhale back to boat. Exhale to half boat. And inhale back to boat. Peace fingers around the big toes. Straightening the legs out to the side or trying to. Inhaling here. Exhale, bending the knees. Soles of the feet come together. And coming into Supta Baddha Konasana. Inhale as you gaze up. Exhale, folding forward, getting a deep breath for the lower back and your groins. And then slowly coming back up. You're gonna take your right leg forward to right shin parallel. Left leg's gonna come back behind you. We're gonna come into our pigeon pose. If you inhale, taking a back bend, and exhale, folding over that right shin. Arms come out in front. Taking a couple more breaths here. And slowly planting your palm. Slowly walking your chest back up. Left knee bend, grab and hold the left foot with the left hand. Coming into a quad. Staying here, maybe the foot comes into your elbow crease. Right arm up and over, grab and hold the left fingertips. The goal is to just feel a deep quad stretch here. And slowly releasing back down and tucking the left toes under, coming back to a three-legged down dog. As you inhale, bend the knee and open the hip. We're making some hip circles in one direction and then reversing the direction. And then the right leg comes down to meet the left. Inhale as you come forward into a plank pose. Exhale either chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. 
Inhale to upward dog. Exhaling back to a downward dog. On an inhale, the right leg's gonna come up. Exhale, the right knee to the left elbow, bringing it all the way through, coming into a fallen triangle. Left arm up and over. You can either stay here if you wanna try to grab for that right big toe, grabbing for the right big toe. Inhaling here and exhaling. And bringing that left palm back down. The right leg's gonna come back to the three-legged down dog. As you inhale, bend the knee, opening the hip and flipping the dog. The right leg comes back behind you again, a nice opening in the chest, gazing back. And bringing the right palm back down, bringing the right leg back to a three-legged down dog, and then releasing the right foot to meet the left, pedaling out. On an inhale, the left leg's gonna come up, bend the knee, open the hip, and exhale, bringing the left knee to the left wrist, preparing for pigeon pose. And coming up to a slight back bend on an inhale, Exhale, folding over that left leg. Holding here for a couple more breaths. And planting the slowly rise up, bending the right knee, grabbing hold of the right foot with the right hand. Again, just trying to get that quad stretch, maybe bringing it into the elbow crease and coming into your king pigeon. Inhaling here and exhaling. And taking one more breath. Slowly releasing back down, tucking the right toes under, coming to a three-legged down dog. You bend your knee, open your hip, making some hip circles in one direction. And then reversing the direction. And then kicking that left leg straight out behind you, inhaling here. Exhale the left knee to the right elbow, bringing the foot all the way through and coming into your fall and triangle. Again, you have variations, so either staying here, or the left piece, the right piece, come to the left big toe. And just maintaining the breath. And bringing that left leg down if it's lifted. Coming back down. The left leg comes back to a three-legged down dog. If you bend your knee and open your hip, slowly flipping the dog. Left arm up and over, feeling a nice deep chest opener. And then the next exhale, planting the left palm back down. The left leg comes back down to meet the right. Inhale as you bend your knees, gazing forward. On an exhale, jumping your legs all the way through coming into a seated position. So we're gonna bring our right chin parallel to the top of the mat and left chin over the right. So again, just talking, like thinking a lot about opening our hips, same with pigeon. Inhale as you take a nice neutral back and exhale, maybe walking your hands forward as you fold your body over your legs. So you should feel a stretch in your lower back and your hips. If you want to rest your head on your legs, you can do that. If your knees aren't exactly parallel on top of each other, that's okay too. The goal is just to get the nice stretch here. And slowly coming back up, taking the left leg out, bringing the right foot to the inner left thigh. 
I always love this stretch. Left deep fingers around the left big toe as you inhale, bringing the right arm up and exhale, shifting over, gazing at that right arm. And then on inhale, coming back up, arms straight up overhead. Exhale, folding over that left leg. And slowly coming back up, taking your left shin down first, your right shin over your left shin. And again, coming into a neutral back here, inhaling here. Exhale, walking your hands out. Maybe resting your head, staying here, feeling a deep stretch in your right lower back and hip. And slowly coming up. Your right leg is going to come out to the side, left foot to the inner right thigh. Bring your right piece fingers around your right big toe. Inhaling as the left arm comes up. And exhale, shifting over to the right and gazing underneath that left arm. On an inhale, coming back up, squaring off your hips. Both arms up and on the exhale, folding over that right leg. And slowly coming back up. You're going to come to lie down on your back. We're just going to take one bridge pose here. So on an inhale, the lower back, middle back, slowly come up, interlacing your hands at the base of your spine, wiggling your shoulder blades together. And then holding here, maybe closing your eyes in this bridge pose, getting comfortable. Inhaling. And up. And then inhaling and exhaling. And taking one final breath. And slowly lowering your upper spine, middle spine, and lower spine. Bringing your feet massless apart as you bring your knees together, coming into the knock knees. And then windshield wipering them from side to side. And then taking the outsides of both feet, coming into your happy baby pose, rocking from side to side. And then bringing your feet down to the mat, your feet together, your knees apart. Coming all the way down, bringing one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. And then breathing in through the nose, feeling it in the belly and out through the mouth. Inhaling again through the nose, feeling the breath in the belly and out through the mouth. One more breath, inhaling through the nose, feeling it rise into the belly of the diaphragm and slowly coming out. Either staying here or coming into a full Shavasana as you extend your legs out in front of you. Slightly more than hips width apart. Palms come up alongside you. Or remaining on the belly in your heart. She's just barking at a squirrel. It's her weak point. <laughs> Inhaling here. And exhaling. Being grateful and thankful for being able to come out today outside and practice on your mat. Remembering this beautiful weather three, four months from now. We can still come out in our coats and everything and do yoga. I'm taking a couple more breaths here.
and then hold, making any subtle movement, wiggling fingers, toes, rocking your head from side to side. Taking a good morning stretch. And then hugging your knees into your chest, rolling from side to side, rocking over onto one side in a fetal position. And taking these breaths in fetal position to try to find compassion for yourself today, for tomorrow and in the future, to treat yourself with respect, And then you can extend that compassion and respect to others. For the next couple of breaths, just coming into a cross-legged seated position, palms um, facing up. And just taking one cleansing breath here. Inhale, bringing your arms up overhead. And exhale, bring them to heart center. Om Shanti, 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 Megum, peace, peace, peace. Thank you. Um, 